name is Max Lake and I've been with the choir for 13 years. Uh, my name's Alan Waters, mm -hmm. I'm a bass, uh, I've been here seven years now. Hi, my name's Jeff Davis, I live in a village called Kriger, just outside Cardiff, and I've been in the choir for 30 years. So hi, my name's Jen Thornton, I've been in the chorus about five years. So why did you first decide to join the choir? Uh, I was introduced, uh, I did a concert with the WNO and they put my name forward to the BBC and I received a letter a long time ago asking would I like to come for an audition, which I did and I had a letter two weeks later saying that I was lucky and I got in and I've loved every minute of it. <laughs> I've sung all my life. Um, I sort of grew up by probably the last generation that sang in Sunday school. My dad was a, a, a local musician, I got the MBE up in Tredegar for services to choral music. Um, so I had singing lessons from about the age of six. Then I, I, I just carried on singing through school. Uh, in college, although I, I was a PE teacher, um, I actually uh, was chairman of the College Music Society and sang in the Madrigal Group. So it was a strange mix, you know. Um, in college with lots of Welsh international rugby players, but uh, I, I had this sort of crossover. Um, I just kept on singing, um, went up to Essex, uh, sang in a Kilburn Song Society, came back to Wales uh, to teach and uh, sang with a local choir, Cantorium Craigie, uh, well-known local choir around Cardiff, uh, and then saw an advert in the Western Mail and uh, didn't think for a minute I'd get in and pass the audition, but uh, I did and here we are. <laughs> 30 years later. I know you have to audition every few years. Does it get more difficult every time? Or is it the sight reading does, yeah. <laughs> he, uh, he knows the singers, so he knows who's in there and he will test you and, and you know, encourage you. So is there any particular memory that you have with the chorus that you hold quite fondly? I think my favourite concert I think that we've ever done was Verdi's Requiem at the Proms, which was two years ago. Verdi's Requiem at the Proms two years ago, um, which was, it was just brilliant. It was such a good quality concert with a great conductor um, and it was one of those where you just buzz afterwards all the way home on the coach singing, which is great. That's really difficult. <laughs> I could sort of reel off a list probably. I, I've got to go back to the early days. We spent eight days filming in Israel with Ali Jones, little Ali Jones, when his, before his voice broke. Um, and when of course he made his name and the choir helped to make that name. Uh, we went to Israel, we filmed for eight days, we produced three programmes, I think it was two for Easter, one for Christmas. Um, they had huge viewing figures, the video as it was then, not a DVD, <laughs> the video went to the top of the charts that Christmas, the uh, LP and tape as it was then went to the top of the charts there. Um, and for eight days, it, we, we just performed on all the holy sites. They, they even sort of held the water back on the River Jordan. They stopped some traffic in the middle of Jerusalem to film us. It was just, just incredible. Uh, and then, I suppose, um, performing twice in the Concert Cabal. Um, my, just incredible, you know, lots of singers give their back teeth to sing in the Concert Cabal, let alone sing twice. Um, and all the other fantastic concert halls we've, we've sung in. So, difficult to say one thing really. Uh, yes, we went on tour to Paris a few years ago in a, to sing in a music festival. And at the end, when we finished singing Beethoven's Call of Fantasy, uh, the orchestra started leaving the stage and Adrian ran out of front and we started singing the national anthem, the Welsh national anthem. <laughs> and um, everyone kind of filed back in to listen. It was a really good moment. I live for Verdi's Requiem, Foray Requiem, Marla, oh, they're all just wonderful. What is it that you like about them? I think it's just the thrill of singing with them, the, the, the build up, the crescendo to the end, and then it's just lovely. It's, oh. And of course, then you learn different languages as well. So, not that I'm bilingual. <laughs> <laughs> Um, what are you most looking forward to about the anniversary celebrations? Being part of it, five years since the hall first opened. It was also new five years ago and now here we are and we're doing this lovely concert. And 
singing in German with Mendelssohn and Schumann and it's lovely. Uh, it's obviously it's really exciting for the choir, 30 years is a nice long time to have such a good choir in Cardiff um, so I'm hoping we'll get to have a bit of a party at some point in the process. Um, and concert wise I always like St David's Day, I think it's great, people get so involved, it's such a good celebration, whatever you end up singing it's um, <laughs> whatever, the, whatever the repertoire is for St David's Day, you get a great, great audience, you get a sea of red, you get people joining in at the end and it's a really nice sort of Welsh celebration to be part of. Um, there, there are two performances which sort of coincide with the 30th anniversary. The first is the, is the, is the Bronze Requiem, which we're doing later in, in the year, uh, sorry, in, in, in next year now, in 2014. Um, because that was the first concert we ever performed as a, as a choir. Uh, I remember being absolutely petrified in St David's Hall uh, because I'd never done anything quite like that. It was with uh, Andrew Davis, uh, now Sir Andrew Davis, uh, and it was just a, an absolutely fantastic experience. So that would be great to revisit the Browns Requiem. Um, and also the foray. The foray holds a special place in, in my life. Um, we were to sing it in, uh, sorry, we were to sing the Pool and Gloria in uh, the proms on the night of Princess Diana's uh, funeral when she was buried in London that day, an incredible day. Uh, they changed it uh, the week before, so we had one week's notice to perform in the proms and we did the four year requiem. Uh, absolutely eerie experience because the promenaders didn't applaud. Um, uh, David Atherton was conducting and he said, no, I don't want any applause at the end of this performance, which I think was wrong because, in fact, I think we should have sung the pool on Gloria because <laughs> that was her life, you know, it was bubbly and, and, and alive and I think we should have done that and I think Promenade should have uh, applauded, but, uh, but that, 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 that's history. And also, um, probably, again, um, I could have mentioned it along with the, the Holy Land as a memory, um, performing the Foyer Requiem in the Madeleine in Paris um, that was incredibly poignant. My mother had, had just, just passed away and <clears throat> we sang it in quartets. It's the only concert I think we've done with the BBC, which we actually, we, we rehearsed quite a lot in, in quartets. Adrian will say, right, you know it well enough now, mix up. And that's quite scary, but uh, you've got to know your work. But we actually performed uh, in, in quartets, so you, you didn't have your own voice around you. Fantastic acoustic. And the soprano started with uh, the last chorus in Paradisium. And it's the best I've ever heard it sung. Um, and the bass is coming, Jerusalem, and I just couldn't sing because all I could think about was my mum. And it was the most poignant moment, I think, of, of my musical life. Uh, and, I, and I'll always think of that. And then at the end of it, I don't know if you've ever been in the Madeleine, but there are no windows. Um, it's Napoleon's church in the centre of, of Paris. They opened these massive doors, and it was a lovely. It was a Sunday afternoon concert, absolutely full, and the light just flooded in. You know, so you had uh, it looks perpetua. You know, you had the light, which again was was a very special moment because that was some of the words that my that, uh, the local vicar had used at my mother's bedside. So that I will never ever forget.